we've been talking a lot about AI here in the office and we asked ChatGPT what the top five questions people ask about home design and home decor. The number one question people ask AI about their home is... <laughs> How do I pick a paint color for my house? So where you need to start is actually with some serious inspiration homework. Because if you don't know which design style you are and you want your space to be, then you're not going to know which color palettes support and communicate that style the best way. Do that research first. I've got a great system in Pinterest that I use a lot with the clients that I work with, but understand what you're trying to say before you start drilling down into actual colors. Second thing you want to consider about that is what are the other materials that you're going to use in conjunction with the paint? Is it going to be flooring, countertops, specialty fireplace stone? Maybe there's other materials that are gonna go next to that paint color and you wanna make sure that you're working with those as well. Thirdly, you have to make sure you're using the right lighting. How many times have you picked out paint colors in a store and went, it doesn't look the same? That's because the lighting is different. And then you're gonna want to use the rule of three. Pick out three finalists, test them in three spots for at least three days in all lighting conditions. I guarantee you at the end of that process you are gonna have a winner. So the second most popular question was, what size rug do I buy? I have one word for you, bigger than you think. If you know my channel at all, you know I'm a huge proponent of the fact that everybody's area rugs are typically too small. Guys, area rugs work as anchors for seating arrangements. That means that you do not want your furnishings half on and half off the rug. Why? Because it stops acting like that anchor to the conversation area. The second reason you do not want to shrink up on that rug is because small rugs make spaces look small. Look at the difference between this thing with the dinky little white thing in front of the coffee table and this one where you have a large circular area rug that holds all the pieces together and it makes the room feel expansive and generous or this one which is spectacular even for a traditional home it's got a big large space to it so guys here's your solution to this you want to check out this video where I explain how to get a custom size and custom shape to your area rug without breaking your bank now the number three question was actually, how do I choose wallpaper for my living room? Here's the pro tips on how to break it down. There's three factors to consider when you're going to choose wallpaper for any space, regardless of whether or not it's your living room. A, which wall or what area of that room are you going to choose to accentuate? Because wallpaper is in and of itself usually a focal point. B, what's your style statement? And what type of wallpaper, textured, pattern, color, scale, would support your style statement in the space? And C, what's your overall color palette? And how is the wallpaper going to integrate with that? Is it going to contrast to it? Is it going to blend in with it? How does it work together in the overall space? So those three factors are things you want to consider. Take a look, for instance, at this beautiful accent fireplace that's been wrapped with seagrass textures, which is really beautiful and brings it off the wall. Or in this one, where it's actually a little sweet pattern, which is really nice. Another location that's great for wallpaper as an accent wall is kind of an end wall like you see here with this lovely black and white traditional chinoiserie idea. Or if you're going to go strong on something, maybe you do a headboard wall in something super graphic and interesting. Or you've also got an option where you could even do one whole wall as a mural like you see here. These are all great solutions and they support those three factors that we were talking about at the beginning. Number four on ChatGPT actually surprised me a little bit because I thought it would be number one or number two, which is what is my design style? Now, this one's also not a simple answer because it involves a lot of homework, but 
here's the deal. You need to research the different style statements that are out there that appeal to you. Maybe you're traditional, transitional. Maybe you're one of the contemporary subcategories. There's information about all of that out there. My gosh, I must have 20 style videos just on this YouTube channel alone. You want to take a couple of quizzes. You want to look some things up. Google some things. You just want to do some searching, maybe create a Pinterest page until you've got some distilled imagery that actually looks cohesive and speaks to you about a style statement that you recognize from the research that you've done. But once you know, you know. And then once you know, you can fly with it because you've done the research. Okay, so the number five question on home decor and chat GPT was, a little bit of a surprise for me and it's how do I paint my kitchen cabinets because I didn't think that many people were out there DIYing and tackling a complex job like this. Believe me guys, this is not for the faint of heart. But I do understand it because it can completely transform your kitchen on a reasonable budget. So let's dive into how you go about doing just that thing. Number one, you got to start with a plan. A, you have to pick your color scheme. That's something in and of itself. If you want to go back to number one, which is how to pick your colors for your house, you can take a look at that again. I talk about it. So when you're ready to actually DIY it and do the actual work, you're going to want to do enough research so you feel comfortable about it. I have a whole deep dive in design space on this. And quite frankly, if you're going to this amount of effort, you should be a member of design space. But I've also got a great guy over here on YouTube that gives you the best tutorial on actually painting your cabinets I've ever seen on YouTube. And I'm going to link him down below. I'm also going to link a second group, the paint people who I've used a lot and they can really help you out with some color research for the kitchen. Now guys, these were just the top five results that we got when we entered things into AI. But what are you asking ChatGPT? We want to know down in the comments below. Be sure and check out this video. Links for all these great guys are down below and I will see you soon.